just wanted to make a little video in connection with my little post so you guys can see how I made lunch with Pint today. So lunch with Pint is just my name. So my name is Spencer. Small children can't say my name. That SP man is hard. It is hard, okay? So they tend to say Pinta. <laughs> so they say Pint or Pinta. And my little brothers, of course, growing up, were no exception. They also could not say my name. So they would say Pinta or Pint, and it kind of just stuck. So I am Pinta. That is who I am. It is what it is. It's a little family joke around. But anywho, just a little background on that. So lunch with Pint is just lunch with me. So we're just having lunch together and enjoying the day, if you will. Enjoying this lovely quarantine that we're stuck in five ever. So today, as you saw or didn't see, you're just happened to stumble upon this. Hey, what's up? Welcome. We had veggie calzones. So your girl loves pizza I have there's just so many things I love honestly it's just it's crazy so this is my first time or this was my first time making calzones and it was it was it was fun it was process it was it's you gonna see it was a thing <laughs> of course they never initially start all too beautiful that comes with practice but like I said we're on this cooking journey together so strap in buckle up throw on your belts and I'll show you how to rock it so stuffing as far as your favorite veggies, um, red onion, zucchini, peppers, banana peppers, just think of what you like on your open face pizza and then we're just gonna stuff that into our filling. You can throw in broccoli, you can throw in mushrooms, you can throw in eggplant, you can throw in squash, you can throw in cauliflower, you can throw in, I can't think of other pizza, olives, uh, Vegan chorizo, vegan pepperoni. Um, come on, Spence. You're losing this game. Any other pizza toppings that I'm probably missing a buffillion right now, but that's all that's popping into my head right now. What we're using today, we're doing red onion, zucchini, peppers, banana peppers, and then I have like this little mixture that I use. I have a little bit of a mixture that I use from uh, Sunday dinner, which was uh, stuffed pepper. So I still have a little bit of that. So that's like cabbage and sweet potatoes and fun things like that. So I'm just gonna mix that in at the last minute to have just some extra flavors in there. Of course, all of our seasoning and then our dough. Now you can make dough from scratch. I am not about that life, so I just buy my dough. I get this from Whole Foods. They also have it at Nino's. It tends to be a couple bucks, honestly, like two or three bucks for some dough. It's not hard at all. And uh, how we're gonna do this is um, we're gonna divide this in half and then we're gonna divide each half into thirds so um, i'm actually only going to do half so i'm going to end up making three calzones because i'm going to save the other half for um another video i did a, another reel for mushroom pizza and i never actually showed you guys like what i did in my steps so i'm going to use half of that for that and i'm just a talking mess right now so i'm gonna stop talking and we can dive right into this so let's first start off chopping all of our vegetables do me a flavor preheat your oven to 450 and take your dough out you want that to sit to get to room temperature for about an hour so we're gonna dice these up season them up let them sit in the seasoning because we know we love to marinate you can do that with veggies too not just me huh so let that sit out for an hour and we'll t -t 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 cut everything up bippity poppy boop and we're back we have everything sliced and diced. We have our spinach, banana peppers, zucchini. You see, there's a bunch of that. Mama likes zucchini, red onions, and red pepper. So, not everything is sliced and diced. We're just going to take everything but our spinach, because we're going to put that in once we fold, because, you know, spinach likes to wilt. So if we throw it in the oven, it'll disappear and we'll have no spinach. <laughs> so we'll do our banana peppers and everything, pop them in our mixing bowl and we'll mix some seasonings in there. I'm doing Italian and garlic. You know my rules. I mix until grandma, my aunts and uncles and grandpas from past years guide my hands and go, all right, Spence, that's it. We're good. Um, if your ancestors aren't speaking to you, you can use a fourth teaspoon of everything. Honestly, do a teaspoon and a half of Italian and a teaspoon of garlic. Um, if your ancestors guide you, guide, allow them to guide you until your hands are finished. So let's get our mix on. A 
lovely. Look at our colors. So pretty. So pretty. So while we're waiting for our oven to give us the beep, 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 we can just put this on our sheet pan. And I just threw some parchment paper on there because the oven is pretty high at that 450 and we don't want anything burning on our sheet pan. So we can just lay everything out, making sure everything is flat, if you will, or about as close to having its own surface area. Because you want everything to get a nice cook through. And we are going to roast these bad boys for 16-ish minutes. And I like to just flip my pan halfway in between. So I'll pop it in for 16, flip her at eight, and then we'll pull her out and start working on our dough. And we're back. We have our lovely roasted vegetables, fresh out the oven. Well, not fresh, they've been cooling for a little bit so that we can just dive right into it. So let's do our dough, because this likes to, <laughs> test my patience and you know it's and it turns out a little different every time but fingers crossed I'm going to use all my spiritual special bending powers to make sure this is going to be as great as I can get it so counters all cleaned off I'm going to sprinkle a little flour on her just so nothing really sticks you know just so nothing really sticks so that we can clean out our bowl so I have half of Half of our dough from our big pot. I split it in half because like I said, I'm only going to make three. So that we can split this into thirds. Oh, that was not a good break. I don't want them equal, equally yoked, equal sized balls. I'm not mad at that. So I'm gonna take the roasted veggies and I'm gonna put them in this dish that we just took the dough out of. Just because we're gonna add a little more seasoning so that they really slap. Because our goal is for them to really slap. And then like I said, I have some leftover stuffing, if you will from my stuffed peppers that I had just been using in my Just Omelets and my Morning Crunch Wraps and some added veggies and lo mein. So I'm just gonna blend that in so we have nice, delicious flavors. Plus this mix has been sitting in the fridge for a few days, so it's really just kind of marinated on top of itself. So that's gonna be extra tasty. So we have that there, and you know what? Let's just knock out the rest of our seasoning for that. So just a little pepper, smooch of salt, and then some rosemary, just because that's fun fragrance to add in there. That way we can be done with our veggies. And then once we have our dough rolled out, we can just get right to filling them. little bit of my butter on the pan so nothing sticks. And I'm also going to get a little, a little bowl ready. Chewy! Woo! Did that up? Okay. Uh, where is my I'm gonna get a little bowl ready because we are gonna have a egg mixture that we're going to roll out, but okay. So let us do some dough. So I got a little flour on all sides. It's all nice and doughy. So we're just going to roll this out into an oval. 
right? So make sure to stretch it so it's nice and oval shaped so that we can put filling on half of it and then we'll flip it, push it closed, and then put some fork dollops in there so that it can steam while it is cooking. So let's knock it out. doing some sauce. And it's just your desired amount of sauciness. So I just put the sauce over the entire surface, but we're only going to do veggies and stuff on one half naturally so we can fold it. But I just want both sides to be saucy. This is your desired sauciness. I know some people like more sauce than cheese. Some people like more cheese than sauce. Just kind of whatever the heart wants, but we just want to make sure to leave about an inch so that we can fold her up real nice. So I'm just showing you how to do this first one and then I'll speed through the rest as I knock them out. I just wanted to rush through that little rolling process. So you only need about half a cup of filling. Play it by ear, honestly. Like I said, you know, I like to go until there's a nice little amount in there because you really just want those bites to be so I'm just going to guesstimate because we're also adding spinach in there and then the cheese. We have our daya. So we have mozzarella and cheddar. You could do a nice little blend. You could just do cheddar, just do mozzarella, whatever the heart wants. I am going to, I have three, so I'll do one mozzarella, one cheddar, and one blended because, you know, yellow, why not? So let's add our spinach. You know, we gotta have our greens in there. We gotta have our green. Get our little bit of uh, leafy green. Get that folic acid. Okay. And then I'll do mozzarella first. We have that right on top. So I'm gonna be right into it. It's a nice cheesy dollop. And then I'm just going to lift this carefully, stretch her out, and then fold her over the top. And we're just making sure to, I'm just pushing in with my finger so that everything is connected with no issue. And there's a nice little closing. Making sure nothing can magically seep out on me. Just I can make some more prominent dots with my hands just so when it cooks up, hopefully my little finger marks stick in there. We're gonna see. Just like that. And then stab into it so that there could be space for steam to release. So I just did four little holes. Okay, and then I'm just going to slowly pick this up and pop it on our pan. Come here, baby. Bam. And so that's one, and you just repeat that process with the other two. This one might be a little too full. I didn't get as even of dough as I thought I did. That's all right. So that just means that um, this one will probably be a little oozy. <laughs> It'll be a little oozy. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, 
Oh, that was a weird sneak up laugh because I didn't expect to make that funny. Please forgive me. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how she turns out. I'm okay if one ends up a little wonky wonka noodle. Because as long as my other two are Gucci bandana. You know what? I'm just gonna put her on her own pan because I'm confident that she's going to she's gonna she's gonna get a little weird kid on me. I don't want to mess up the other ones because I got one weird kid. It's okay, weird kids are the best kind of kids. Yeah, I made her a little too full. It's okay. Uh, yeah, you're already trying to open. I'm so sorry, friend. Be strong enough to guide yourself close. All right, so we got our two besses with little hole dollops. And then we got our one messy that might get a little messy mess on us. But I am okay with those eyes. So, everyone has been poked. Yes, yeah, she is going to open up. I already, this is going to be a fun one. I wonder if I can. Oh, 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 ideas. Ideas flowing. Ideas, they're flowing. Let's see if I can kind of wrap her around herself, you know? Does that make sense to your brain? Did you just mind? like this so she's gonna be more of a um like a roll like a calzone roll instead because we're just gonna do some stretching of some dough right right you with me you picking up what i'm putting down so she's gonna be like a burrito roll thing Ooh. oh there's not a lot of noise for that like that right right And now, and now we are just going to wrap these with saran wrap and let them sit for about 30 minutes and then they'll be ready for the wash and we can throw them in the oven. Now we can whip up our egg mixture real fast and it can just sit in the fridge while we wait for our dough to kind of um, rise, if you will. That's basically what it's doing, just getting familiar with herself, feeling the ingredients all up in a belly. So all we're gonna do for the egg wash mixture is just egg, you know I love this, and some water, easy peasy. So we're just gonna do a tablespoon of just egg and a tablespoon, well, excuse me, two tablespoons of just eggs, that's equivalent to an egg, and then one tablespoon of water. Just gonna mix that up, have our little handy dandy brush that came with my food torch, and then we'll be able to just brush the mixture on and throw them in the oven for about 16 minutes and they should rise up, crust up beautifully. So let's whip, the, oops. Whip this up real quick. And I definitely just poured that by eye. I mean, I could have measured it out, but you know, we've gone too far. Here we are. It's more than enough to get what I need to do across. And we're only brushing it with a light coat, just look, honestly. And I can save the rest of this for tomorrow when I make some gloves. So that's all prepped and ready for us. So we'll be able in about 15 minutes to uncover these and wash them. Okay, our 30 minutes are up from our girls sitting covered. And I just had them sitting on top of my pans on the stove just because they want to be in a space that's relatively warm. And so that's where they sat. So, like I said, a little problem child. We always have one, you know, we always have one. So I feel like these are going to come out beautifully. And then my little, my angel face over here, she's going to, she's going to go through some things, but we're going to see. So now we can wash them with our mixture. And so just did a little light brushing over there. That's all we're doing. So just doing a nice little egg wash. Make sure to get the little sides so that everything is staying together. Make sure to get the underbutt. We're gonna do that to all of our babies and then we'll be able to Toss them in the oven and then enjoy them. I'm excited. All right. 
And then our last one, our little baby nugget. She tried, she tried to stay together. This one will definitely be mine. <laughs> I'll get the little broken problem children. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Like I said, way too much egg wash. Here we are. Say lovey. And then let's throw these in the oven for 17-ish minutes. We'll check on, I'll check on them at about um, 12 to see how they're cooking up, especially at that 450. But we'll see how they come out. And we're out of the oven. Not mad at them. They're crispy and delicious. Why is it that I actually like the way that my problem child came out? I know that's crazy to say, but you know, here we are. So they've been cooling so I can touch them with my hand. So we have our one crunchy on the outside. I can feel the softness on the inside. And I love how the butter kind of crustified that, if you will. And then look at my problem child. Why do I love this? Looking like a little burrito or something. A little pizza burrito. And they smell so good. The real problem is, how does one capture an aesthetically pleasing picture of a calzone? Let me know because I'm going to try something. Don't know how it's going to work. If I don't like the pictures, your girl's going to do a boomy. Anyway, so I'm going to cut into my problem child just so you can see where we're at. I really like how this came out, this little burrito looking thing. So we're just going to hopefully try not to get anything coming out the back ends. Oof, it's crispy. Just showing you inside. Oh, we got some cheese. Oh, our girl is cheesy. She good. Oh, where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> she good. She delicious. Pop that like that. And I'm going to cut into my other baby as well because she's thicker than little mama over here. It's the crispy crusty for me. I like cutting into it and hearing that crunch, 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 crunch. But oh, inside of there as well. Delicious. I am a happy camper with that. Let's see if I can wipe off my little. I got inside cooties on my pan. Inside cooties on my pan. Got a little shout. Got a little shosh on my pan, on my pan. And then of course, of course, of course, you gotta have some marinara on the side for dipping purposes. You already know, you already know. Gotta have some dipping sauce for the side. Because you already know the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a reach. But, voila, my loves, there you have it. Veggie calzones with a side of marinara. And that's lunch with Ben today. So I'm going to give this to my brother when he comes home. And I already dropped one off to my little sister at school. So I'm going to sit and enjoy myself a little calzone -y -y. As usual, per usual, thanks for tuning in with me. It's always a pleasure. I will see you next time for lunch with Pent. And what are we even having? I think we're making, oh, farmer sandwiches because you know, we're about to start to get into the coldness here in the Michigan, not for real, but like the baby fall, the tease of fall. So I have one more run to the farmer's market where I'm just gonna get like the last of all of the summertime veggies, if you will. And we're gonna wrap it up into a nice little sandwich. And that'll be the probably the last cold thing we do, honestly, because now we're about to get into soup season. Mm. But. Thanks. Love y'all. See you later. Bye.